There can only be one winner, and you're looking at it. Let's go. YouTube, this is a guide to summon the ultimate boss monster, the arrival at zero attack. But it's unaffected by other card effects, but it actually becomes 5,000 attack and with only one card. You've heard of two card combos, you've heard of three card combos. This is a one card combo, one card, 5,000 attack, unaffected by everything. That's right, even if you have Nibiru, you could Nibiru your own monster it won't be attributed. And I'm also gonna tell you how to not mess up the combo. It's one thing to know how to do the combo, but how to not mess it up. So we're gonna focus on that. If you want a deck list, this is the general cards that you're gonna be playing. Here's a good sample deck, very good from Toast. So here's the deck list, I'll also show you mine. Let's get right into it, step by step, how to do it. We're gonna use this card to search for the one card we need. Now to do this one card combo, you need a Pakari or you need an Aichi. Aichi or Pakari will be the way to do this one card combo. You're gonna then summon it. You summon Pakari, Pakari's gonna search for the I meet you. If you had Aichichi, Aichichi would have searched for Pakari instead, all right? So I meet you is going to search for the Aichichi. By revealing a fire monster, you grab the Aichichi and there you go. That's why you need either or. These cards will result in the same 5,000 attack unaffected by everything combo. You're going to then link off into Dark Infant. This is a one card link, just one card. The craziest thing about link summoning is these one link monsters that make decks more consistent. This will search for the field spell. And the field spell is why you could do this whole combo. The Eye Land. Eye Land is not once per turn. You're gonna special summon a monster from your hand like 20 times. As long as you have nothing in your main monster zone, you could special summon a monster from the hand. Special summon the Aichichi. Activates, searching for the Doyon. Doyon will add a monster from the graveyard back to the hand. Now we want to make it so we have no monsters on the monster zone, so we're gonna link again. We're just gonna climb. Climb up into Cyber's Wicked. Cyber's Wicked is gonna search for another Ignister. It's gonna search for a tuner. Now that we have no monster zones, we're gonna special summon the Doyon. Doyon and the Wicked are both gonna activate to search. So the Doyon is going to add the monster that you normal summoned. It's very important, why? Because every time you use the island to summon a monster from the hand, you can't summon that same monster again. So what did we not summon? And a good check is just looking at your graveyard. The monster at the bottom of your graveyard is going to be the one that you wanna use, which is gonna be the Picari. It's at the bottom of the grave because you normal summoned it. That's gonna be the one you wanna add. If you started with Aichichi, then the Aichichi would have been at the bottom, all right? And you wanna use the Wicked to banish the Dark Infant to search your deck for the other. So let's search, let's add, and let's add. Now remember, the goal is to free up your monster zones and we wanna be able to summon both of these. So we're gonna summon the green one and then we're gonna free up the monster zones again. Then we're gonna summon the yellow one and we're gonna go from there. Shokan into the Transcode Talker. Now, I don't recommend summoning this. The guy that I was looking at was saying to summon this, but you could instead summon the Cybers, the Splash Mage. They both do the same thing here. Same thing. They're gonna summon a monster from the grave, but you wanna use the field spell first. Doyon's gonna add a card back to your hand. This is not a part of the combo at all. Don't worry about that. That's just for the next turn. Special summon the green one. And remember to not use the Transcode Talker or the Splash Mage because it's gonna open, it's gonna put a card in your monster zone, then you can't use the island. Now the Buraru, which you search for the Wicked, is gonna send a card from your deck to the graveyard. The best card generally is gonna be this one. When you make your unstoppable, unaffected 5,000 attack, unaffected by everything, this will also be able to negate anything on the field. You'll banish it from the grave, negate a monster, spell, trap, negate by banishing. Only when you have a link six, which is gonna be the arrival. 
Now we could summon a monster from the grave. And again, to use the island, I need nothing in my monster zone, so we gotta link these off. Link them off into Dark Templar. This is gonna be the final step before summoning the ultimate unstoppable arrival. No monsters in the main zone, so we can use the field spell. Summon the monster that we normal summoned. We're gonna link it off, and you have to link it off in the middle. The middle of the field. And you have to summon the Dark Templar on the right side. Why is that? Because you need the Ignister is now gonna activate as chain link two to the Dark Templar to move over. When it moves over, the Dark Templar could summon monsters from the graveyard equal to its arrows, and we need this to move over to then summon one, two, three to make the biggest arrival we can. Let's go. Move it on over. Move it on over. This will move to where it's pointing to. So if you summon Dark Templar on the left, the Ignister would have moved on over to the left, blocking one of the arrows so you don't get an extra summon. You also want to turn it into Divine, because to summon the Arrival, we need as many different attributes on the field to make it bigger. One, two, three. You would only summon two if you, summon, if you summoned the Dark Templar in the wrong spot, or the Dark Infant in the wrong spot. You'd only get two monsters. Now, this is where you could go into Arrival, but you don't yet. We have another play. There's another effect with the Buraru. It's also a tuner. We're going to make a level seven synchro. The Wind Pegasus. Now that's going to trigger the tuner to summon the monster that was used for the synchro back on the field. Now what's great about this is the Wind Pegasus, if in the graveyard says that if another card you control is destroyed by your opponent, you could banish this card, then target any card in the field and return it back in the deck. So we have Wind Pegasus to return any card in the field back in the deck. We have the Dan Mari in the graveyard to negate anything on the field. And we're going to have 5,000 attack unaffected by everything. You could do a Splash Mage if you want to. It'll just summon a monster back in the fields. This is it. Come forth, five cards making the arrival. This was all off of one card, one card, 5,000, unaffected by everything. You burn for 23 in the end phase of the I Me Too. Don't worry about that. Let's see what the opponent does. Imperm to negate me. <laughs> I'm unaffected. Okay, now I read this card. This says that it contributed itself to set two holes from the deck. Well, I'm going to negate it. Negate it. Still jumped off the well, linked into another. Linked into Sarah. Okay. That's a lot of back row. Now let's do the follow up. The follow up is going to be making an access code talker, wiping the entire field. This could also destroy a monster on the field without even targeting. This is going to summon a dragon. This is going to summon a monster from my graveyard to banish my arrival, but I'm unaffected. I'm unaffected. Maxi, sure you're going to special summon from my grave? Let's go. Summon a monster. My Dark Templar, how dare you? I'm unaffected. By the way, by the way. Dogmatica Punishment, I am still unaffected. And also, your extra deck monster has to be <laughs> equal or higher attack. What are you going to send that's 5,000 attack? Nothing. And I'm also unaffected. So you're going to destroy my token. Okay. And because you destroyed my token, I'm going to return that card back on the deck with my Pegasus because you destroyed a card I controlled. Get out of here. And Tish destroyed my field spell. I could reset it from the grave, by the way. <laughs> so completely screwed up. Back in the deck, replay the field spell, and now I'm going to summon 8,000 damage. I think they surrender before this, so... We're going to summon. We're going to add a card that special into the grave. We're going to summon from the grave. We're going to then add a card in the graveyard back to the hand. They're going to scoop it. It's over. We're unaffected by everything, plus a negate, plus a return a card in the field back on the deck, plus reuse the field spell, plus an 8,000 damage follow-up with the access code talker. And we did that all with one card. One card.
Now, because that fool surrendered, I'm going to be showing you what the follow-up would have looked like, plus what the play is to not make a mistake. Do not make mistakes, all right? So let's get through this and let's get to the point where you can make mistakes. The one card combo, we're gonna add, we're gonna link off, we're gonna grab. The first mistake is coming up soon. Ready, get ready, get ready. So we're gonna add back. It's similar to what you saw in the gameplay. We're gonna add the Doyon. Here you go, mistake number one. You must summon behind the wicked. If you don't summon behind the wicked, then the wicked is not gonna add a tuner from your deck. So that's gonna be very important. Also, the Doyon activation could be a mistake. Get ready. The Doyon must add the card that you normal summoned. Because if you add the normal summon monster, it will be the first monster at the bottom of your graveyard, which will be on the right side on the screen in Master Duel. If you add the wrong monster with Doyon, you messed up the combo because you already special summoned the Achichi with the field spell. The field spell cannot summon Achichi again. So that's a big mistake right there. Let me make sure we have the next mistake opportunity. So mistake number, the next mistake you can make is with, you could use Splash Mage to do this combo or Transcode Talker. They both do the same thing here. Do not special summon from the grave until you use the field spell. So the Transcode Talker and the Splash Mage have the effect to summon a monster from the graveyard. If you summon from the graveyard before using the field spell, you screwed up because the field spell requires you to have no monsters on the field in the monster zones. So make sure to field spell first. Very good. Let me get to the next point where you can mess up. Also, if you're using transcode talker, do not summon behind the transcode talker because then you can't summon the monster from the grave. So that's another way to mess this up, but just use splash mage. Splash mage is fine. Okay. Let's go, let's go summon. Now we're gonna get into the next part, the next mistake. Here's another mistake you could make. You must summon the Dark Templar on the right side. If you summon it on the left, you screwed up. Do not do that. Now we're gonna special summon a monster. If you happen to special summon your monster where the Dark Templar is pointing, do not activate your Templar. If you activate your Templar, you screwed up. Do not activate your Templar here. Do not, do not. Now you wanna activate. Now. Your at this point, before you make this play, make sure your toggle is on auto or on. If your toggle's on off at this point, you screwed up. Now, you could have had your toggle on off up until this point, you could have. And I actually recommend it if you're getting comfortable with the toggle, I have a toggle guide. So if you have Maxi in your hand that's bothering you for the whole combo, it's gonna be annoying. So I have my toggle off when I'm doing this, but before I summon the Dark Infant, in the middle next to the Dark Templar, I have to turn my toggle back on auto or on, otherwise you're gonna get screwed up. Now, you have to summon the Dark Infant right here in the middle. You cannot summon it here. You cannot summon it here. If you summon it in either of these spots, you screwed up big time, okay? So now the Templar's gonna activate and you chain link to the Dark Infant to move over to then summon the monsters into the arrows. Here's another way you could screw up. Do not summon anything with the same attribute as what you have on the fields. You want to make sure you have all different attributes on the fields for your monster. Your arrival needs different attributes, but I mean, you could probably synchro off with it, uh, with the Doyon, I think, but just don't do it. Just don't do it. Just don't summon the Doyon. Make sure all your attributes are different and with your Dark Infant, turn your Dark Infant into Divine. The Dark Infant right here is not Dark, it's Divine. Does it say Divine? You can see it, it says Divine, very good. All right, so this is the final part. You can't really mess this up. You'll make it the Wind Pegasus, you'll summon the Light Monster from the Graveyard, that's fine. You can make a Splash Mage, or you don't have to. The Splash Mage will be the Transcode Talker play anyway. This is really not doing anything right here. So it's summoning. Then you made your 5,000 attack. There you go. But wait, there's more mistakes you can make. 5,000 attack, unaffected by everything, and you have the Wind Pegasus in the graveyard to return any card in the field back on the deck if they destroy one of your cards. You also have the, where is it? 
You have the purple Don Mari, which was sent with the green to negate any card in the field when you control the arrival. Now we're going to talk about the follow-up lethal and how you can mess that up. You could still screw up. Jesus, you got this far. Don't screw it up. All right. Uh, it's our next turn because your opponent couldn't do anything. I drew a beaver warrior. Well, look at that. The I meets you will be your follow-up, and you added it from the graveyard from the first turn play. So you literally don't need any additional cards to do a follow-up lethal play. You're going to search for the Picari. You're going to field spell it onto the fields. You're going to add the Reborn. Reborn a monster from the graveyard. You're going to Reborn the Doyon because the Doyon could add a monster from the graveyard back to the hand. The Achichi will be normal summon. Then it could add your fourth monster. Your fourth monster will be the Hayari, or there's another one that could special summon. And then you special summon it with its own effect. Now with these four monsters, this is where you could screw up. The Hayari cannot be used to summon an update jammer. The update jammer must be level two or higher. So that means if you don't use the Hayari for the other monster and you only have Hayari on the field to make your update jammer, then you done goofed. You done goofed. So make sure your Hay your you maybe just make the update jammer first if you're scared. So I made a splash mage here, making sure to use the Hayari. And then you're going to make the ax the update jammer. Now you could do this with transcode talker, but th this also could be done with the splash mage. Just just important to know with the update jammer that the update jammer you're going to need to use the non Hayari to do it. All right. My transcode talker is in the graveyard because the guide I was following used transcode talker instead of splash mage. It should have used splash mage, but this is still going to be lethal right here. Some of the monster. Get Shokanin, Axis Code Talker is supposed to be 5,000 attack, but has double attack right now. Double attack, one attack, two attack. Also wipe the entire field. They're dead, but if they're not dead, 5,000 attack. And there you go. That is how you have an unstoppable 5,000 attack, a negate, plus return a card on the field back in the deck, plus a follow-up 8,000 plus lethal, plus wipe the entire field. And all of this was from one freaking card. Just one card. One Picari or one Achichi does this entire play. It's insane. Let's go. And there you go. This is my quick deck preview of what I use for my arrival deck. I like maybe playing more Nibiru because you could use it on your arrival and it won't be affected by your Nibiru. That's fun. But otherwise, I want cards that's going to stop my opponent from stopping me. So I like the cross out designator. And by having one Nibiru in my deck, I could use the cross out designator to negate their Nibiru. I might want to try to put in a third cross out designator. I have two reborn cards. I have the triple field spell plus the draw three. If you already have a field spell on the field, you could discard a field spell to draw three, draw into more hand traps. Freaking Eldlich is really annoying. If you go second and you really don't have a way to out the skill drain, that kind of sucks. So Harpy Found the Duster to help out with that. The regular package of the Maxi, Ash Blossom, and the Call by the Grave. This will help search your combo. The I Me Too will help search your combo. Your one card, you know, your Aichichi, your Picari combo. The Gachiri is pretty good for making your... You can make your Axis Code Talker be unaffected by everything, but it does activate. They could chain to it. But if you chain link block by putting this on chain link one, you put Axis Code Talker on chain link two. Now they can't respond to the Axis Code Talker. And then this will make your Axis Code Talker unaffected by everything. But that's just a quick preview of the deck. I will do more gameplay and more things with this, but I just want to show you the unstoppable and, you know, yes, Kaiju could stop this. I'm going to ban anyone who says otherwise or, or brings that up. Okay, yeah, yeah, just don't talk about that. The unstoppable arrival with one card. Let's go.